नमस्ते टू ऑल वेलकम टू दिशा ऑनलाइन क्लासेस इन द प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी डिस्कस अबाउट द पॉलिनोमियल्स पॉलिनोमियल इक्वेशंस एंड लीनियर इक्वेशंस इन टू वेरिएबल्स एंड व्हाट आर दोस सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ दोस इक्वेशंस ओके सो टुडे क्लास लेट अस डिस्कस सम ऑफ द पॉइंट्स ऑफ द नंबर सिस्टम्स ओके देयर आर डिफरेंट काइंड्स ऑफ नंबर सिस्टम्स आर देयर We'll discuss this one by one. Okay? Yes. So, so for today's topic is number system. What is the number system? See, uh, today's world, the entire universe speaks with the numbers. Is it right? You are using mobiles or computers. They are what? Uh, worked on on which basis on mathematically that is using zero and one that is binary system we call binary system okay so that zero and one are numbers na so uh, today's entire universe speaks with numbers okay numbers are very important and also in everyday life we will use numbers okay is it right uh somebody will ask you, so what is your percentage you will say 90 percentage 50% and so on so that 50 might be what exactly those are all numbers is it right yes so in number system there are different kinds of they so first one is natural numbers <coughs> natural numbers so what exactly the natural numbers means natural numbers are nothing but a counting the numbers counting numbers for example <clears throat> here chopis is there so here how many chopis are there only one na that is single only one is there so this one itself the number Is it right? See, here chalk piece is there. It is there. Yes. So then only we count it. If it is there, then only we count it. If it is not there, there is no counting at all. That means, so if it is there, then counting starts. If it is one here, only one chalk piece is there. So only one. So then one is the natural number. If two chalk pieces are there, then two is the natural number because we are counting, na? Is it right? If there is no chalk piece, so nothing else. That means zero. But we we will not we will not count it zero. Is it right? If there is no there is no counting at all. So zero is not a natural number. If there is, then only we count it. Otherwise, no. So, for example, in cricket, if he is in form, then only we consider among eleven cricket players. Otherwise, we will not count it. We will not consider. So, in Canada, we say "ata kuntu lekar killa." You know. So that, uh, so counting. If if there is something, then only we count it. Okay. So natural numbers are. Counting numbers. So one comma two, three comma so on. These are all natural numbers. And but one thing is zero is not a natural number. And second, whole numbers. Whole numbers. So whole numbers are nothing but they are also natural numbers, but including zero. Okay, whole numbers are also natural numbers including zero. So zero, comma one, two, three, and so on. These are all whole numbers. And third one, integrals or integers. integral numbers or or 
integers they are one and the same okay so integrals or integers they are all whole numbers including negative values negative numbers see whole numbers are natural numbers including zero is it right so here integers in integers these whole numbers are there including negative values so 0 comma 1 2 3 and so on including negative values minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on okay we don't know how to where it ends it will goes on like this and fourth one rational numbers rational numbers so rational numbers are rational numbers are so rational numbers are in the form of are in the form of p divided by q are in the form of p divided by q where here p and q p and q are integers p and q are integers for dear condition provided this q must be not equals to 0 if any p by q form is there in general denominator this q is denominator p is a numerator okay always this denominator must be not equals to 0 If it is zero, anything divided by zero is infinity. That is undefined. Okay, so here q should be not equals to zero. So here p and q are integers. You can choose any integer. So I will choose this two p and q by any number integer. But this two should be not equals to zero. So I will choose minus one. So two divided by minus. Next, I will choose p minus one, q minus one divided by two, or three divided by four, hundred divided by six. These are all rational numbers. Okay. <clears throat> From these four number system, uh, so I, I will some I will come to the conclusion. Observe here. In integers, whole numbers are there. In whole numbers, natural numbers are there. Is it right? And again, whether integers are rational numbers, whether integers are rational numbers or not, whether natural numbers are rational numbers or not, whether whole numbers are rational numbers or not, we will see one thing. How it means? See, here one is there. I will write this one as one divided by one. One I will write one divided by one. So again one by one is one. Is it right? So now it is p by q form. Then so one is a rational number. Here two is there. I will write two two divided by one. Then again p by q form. So two is a rational number. Here three three divided by one. So three is a rational. so generally all natural numbers are rational numbers all natural numbers are rational numbers because we can express a natural number in p by q form easily okay but converse not true converse that means all rational numbers need not to be a natural number because see here 2 divided by minus 1 So two divided by minus one is minus two, but minus two is a natural number. No, it is an integer. Is it right? So all rational numbers need not be a natural number. But all natural numbers are rational numbers. Next, whether all whole numbers are rational numbers? Yes, obviously. Because see, I will write this zero zero divided by one. So zero by one, p by q form is there. Okay, na zero by one is again zero. So this is p divided by q form. 
so that here zero is a rational number. Again, one. These are all natural numbers. Already we know these one, two, three are rational numbers. So these all numbers are rational numbers. <coughs> okay. So all whole numbers are rational numbers. But all rational numbers need not be a whole number because again, see this two by one minus one. It is a rational number, but minus two is not a whole number. Is it clear? Yes. Next, the all integers are rational numbers. Yes. Again, I will explain this. Zero, one, two, three are whole numbers. These are all rational numbers, obviously. See, I will write this minus one as minus one divided by one, minus two minus two by one. So then, these negative values also rational numbers. So totally, all integers are Rational numbers, but converse not true. See here, three divided by four is three by four is a rational number, but a three by four is not an integer. Three by four is not an integer. So that all rational numbers need not be a integers, but all integers are rational numbers. Okay, na? So all natural numbers are Rational numbers. All whole numbers are rational numbers. All integers are rational numbers. So in integer, whole numbers are also there. Natural numbers are also there. So therefore, if all integers are rational numbers, obviously all natural numbers are rational numbers. All whole numbers are rational numbers. Okay? Yes. And next, fifth one, fifth number system is. Fifth one is irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. So what are the irrational numbers? Irrational numbers are numbers which are not rational. Numbers which are not rational numbers. Those numbers are irrational numbers. For example, see what are the all numbers are they? That means in the rational number system. Integers are there, whole numbers are there, natural numbers are there. That means except these values. So some other numbers are there. Like see, under root of two, square root of three, square root of five, square root of seven. These are all irrational numbers. But the square root of four is not a irrational number because square root of four value is two. Is it right? Plus or minus two. This two is not an irrational number because two is an integer. Plus or minus two is an integer. It is a rational number. Okay. So under root of two, under root of three, five, seven. See, observe here. Two, three, five, seven. These are all prime numbers. We will discuss what exactly prime numbers are. Nothing but. Okay. So irrational numbers are which are in the form of Square root of p. Here p, where p is, p is a prime number. It is a prime number. We we'll see what exactly prime numbers are. Okay. <coughs> so all rational numbers are not a irrational numbers, but all irrational numbers need not be a rational. Number. Next sixth one is. Real numbers, real numbers, very important. Real numbers, real numbers are. It is the combination or collection of all rational numbers and irrational numbers. It is the collection of all the rational numbers and irrational numbers. That means. In real number system, these rational values are also there. These irrational values are also there. So, real number system is nothing but it is the collection of collection of real rational collection of rational numbers collection of rational numbers and irrational numbers and irrational numbers. So in real number system, rational numbers are also there. Irrational numbers are also there. 
in rational numbers all numbers are there integers are there and uh, natural numbers are also there is it right then all natural numbers are real numbers is it right then all whole numbers are real numbers all integers real numbers all rational numbers real numbers all irrational numbers real numbers but converse not a true is it right in the real number system rational values also there irrational values also there so root 2 is there is it right in the real number system but root 2 is not a natural number it is not a rational number is it right so converse that means all real numbers are not natural numbers all real numbers are not whole numbers all real numbers need not be integer need not be a rational number okay but all rational numbers are real numbers but converse not true okay na yes and last one more one is there that is seventh one complex numbers complex numbers so complex numbers are nothing but numbers complex numbers are they are in the form of a plus ib they are in the form of a plus ib here a and b are real numbers and this i is an imaginary number we will study in first pc okay the about this complex numbers and so on uh, while uh, solving uh, quadratic equation we you, you come across uh, x square plus 1 is equals to 0 you see right x square plus 1 is equals to 0 this quadratic equation have no solution in real number system is it right so it has a solutions that means it has a roots in complex number system is it right because while solving this uh, we come across a square root of a negative number that is square root of minus 1 but square root of minus 1 that is negative number not belongs to the real number set real number system is it right so that uh, this x square plus 1 is equals to 0 it has a solution in complex number system you will study what exactly complex numbers are there what are the natures and so on ok yes and now natural numbers 1, 2, 3 and so on I will collect all these natural numbers I will collect all these natural numbers I will take in, one, in a bundle ok I will collect and I will write these in the flower bracket 1, 2, 3 and so on and I will denote this collection by a n ok this is n so this denotes the collection of natural numbers or set of natural numbers Okay, yes. and next I will collect all whole numbers and I will denote by W. This is the whole number system collection of whole numbers or whole number set. And this I will collect all these integers and I will denote by a Z. Okay, Z capital Z. So this is the collection of all integers or uh, it is a integer set and the rational numbers I will collect all rational numbers and I will denote by Q letter Q so Q is the notation for the collection of all rational numbers or rational number set and irrational numbers by a Q star I will denote this by a Q star Okay, Q star and real numbers by it is a collection of all rational and irrational numbers by capital R. Okay, real numbers by capital R. and a complex number collection of all complex numbers by capital C. <coughs> okay, these are all just notation that means collection of all natural numbers by N, whole numbers by W, integers by Z. Rational numbers by Q, capital Q, and irrational numbers by Q star, Q 
star and uh, real numbers by R and complex numbers by C S. This is all about the number system. Yes. In number system, some more are there. Even numbers, odd numbers, prime numbers, and the complex uh, composite numbers. We'll see. Okay. Yes. See, number systems are very important. Yes. Nowadays, numbers are very important. Uh, in, on the basis of numbers only, uh, cryptography, there is a big branch in the research field. Okay? In the military system, in a defense, they will use numbers to transform, to share any message. Instead of in words, they will use numbers. Okay? If, we, if we, they wrote number 3, 6, 1, 2, 0, 1 like this, this means there is a message in this. There is a sentence. Okay, that, that uh, coding system is named a cryptography. Right. And from all these, uh, I will uh, conclude that uh, there is conclusion that means capital N, this is set of all natural number system. Is it right? So, all natural numbers are whole numbers. All natural numbers are whole numbers. But all whole numbers need not be a natural number because 0 is not belongs to set of natural number system. Collection of natural number system. 0 is not belongs to. See, this is nothing but this is the symbol for belongs. This is not belongs. Okay. Here, 0 is not belongs to the collection of natural numbers. Therefore, all whole numbers need not be a natural number. Next, all whole numbers are integers. But all integers need not be a whole number. Because minus 2 is an integer. But it is not a whole number. It is not belongs to whole numbers. Next, all integers are rational numbers. Is it right? But all rational numbers need not be integer. Again, 1 by 2 is a rational number, but it is not an integer. All rational numbers are real numbers. All rational numbers are real numbers. But all real numbers need not be a rational number. Because root 2, two it is a real number, but it is not a rational number. Okay? Yes. And all rational real numbers are complex numbers. We will study in first QC. Okay? Wait. All complex numbers are, all real numbers are complex numbers. But converse not true. We will come to know. Keep it. This is the idea. <coughs> that relation between the number systems. And next is odd numbers and even numbers. Even numbers and odd numbers odd numbers so what are the even numbers and odd numbers a whole number a whole number is said to be an even number if if it is divisible by Okay, so you know this is the collection of whole number sets. I will take here whole numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Is it right? These are all whole numbers. So, any whole number, if, if it is, I, I want to say it is an even number only if it is divisible by 2, divisible by a number 2. So, see here, I will take here 0. Whether 0 divisible by 2? Yes. After uh, dividing by anything, 0 divided by anything always 0. Remember, 0 divided by anything always 0, provided the denominator should be not equal to 0. Okay? Because 0 divided by 2 is 0, but 0 by 0 
is not equal to zero. Okay, this is an indeterminate form. So anything divided by sorry zero divided by anything always zero. But denominator should be not equal to zero. Next, so zero divided by two is zero. That means zero divisible by two. If it is divisible by two, then definitely zero is even number. Zero is even number. Next, one is there. One by two. It is not equal to zero. That means one is not divisible by two. Divisible by means it, it, remainder must be zero. But here remainder is not equal to zero. Therefore, one is not a even number. One is not even number. That means if one is not a even number, then definitely one is odd number. Okay, one is the odd number. Next two, whether two is divisible by two? Obviously, remainder is zero. Reminder. I am writing here reminders. These are all reminders. Okay. Is it clear? Reminders. Yes. So here two is an even number. Two is an even number. It is not an odd number. Next three. Whether three is divisible by two? No. So therefore, it is remainder is not equal to zero. So that three is not an even number. So if it is not an even number, three is odd. The next four is obviously four divisible by two. Remainder is zero. So therefore, four is an even number. Four is an even number. Next five, five is not divisible by two, so therefore five is an odd number. So even numbers are which are divisible by two. So here zero, two, four, six, eight, and so on. These are all the even numbers. These are all even numbers. And odd numbers are one, three, five, seven, and so on. These are all odd numbers. Okay, even numbers are nothing but numbers which are divisible by two. They are all even numbers. And which are not even numbers, they are all obviously odd numbers. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> and. Next is uh, there are some properties are there on even numbers. So properties are sum of two even number, whether even or odd. Sum of two even numbers. See, first one is even plus even. That is sum of two even numbers. Whether we get even number or odd. See by taking example. Here even number is four. I will take some here eight. Four plus eight, twelve. That twelve is even. Yes. So term, sum of two even numbers is an even number. We can take any values. Next zero plus six again six. Two plus eight ten. Ten is an even. Okay. Next second property. Sum of two odd numbers. Sum of two Odd numbers. Whether sum of two odd numbers is odd or even. See, let us check it. I will take two odd numbers. Three plus seven. Three plus seven. Three plus seven is ten. Whether ten is even or odd, it's even. So obviously, sum of two even numbers is yes, sum of two odd numbers is again even number. Sum of two even numbers is even. Sum of two odd numbers is also. Even number. And the third one, whether sum of even and odd number is sum of even and odd number is even or odd. Let us see by taking example. Here four is even number, five is odd number. So four plus five, nine. Whether nine is even or odd, it is a 
odd. So, so five, 4 plus 5, so it is a 9, here 9 is an odd number. So that sum of even number and odd number is odd. Okay, from this observation, these properties were very important. Sum of two even numbers is even, sum of two odd numbers is again even, and sum of even and odd numbers is odd. Okay, yes. This all with the even numbers and odd numbers. Then next is very important. Next, very important. That is prime numbers and composite numbers. Okay, prime numbers and composite numbers. See, these prime numbers are there, na? Today's mathematics, actually, they are working, mathematics field working on these prime numbers only. Prime numbers and composite numbers. Numbers, uh, it looks uh, very easy. Here number 1 is there, number 2 is there or 0. We will say just numbers. They will give some very beautiful meaning. 0 is nothing, nothingness. And 1 is what exactly? It's philosophically, if you think these are very important and it will, these numbers will give uh, some beautiful meaning. Okay, you will come to know uh, if you are. Uh, interested in mathematics okay we will enjoy the beauty of mathematics as here prime numbers a prime numbers are what are prime numbers a natural number a natural I will take collection of natural numbers 1 2 3 and so on any natural number if I want to say it is a prime number, so condition, what is the condition? And any natural number is said to be a prime number, any natural number is said to be a prime number if, if it is divisible by, if, uh, sorry, if its divisors are, its divisors are, 1, 1 and itself, 1 and itself only, important, the word only, any natural number is said to be a prime number, if its divisors are only 1 and itself only, exactly, the divisor of that number should be 1 and itself. There are only two devices. Then that number is a prime number. Okay. For example, otherwise it is a composite number. Okay. See one by one. First one is there. So keep this uh, one for a while. Don't disturb this one. One. Okay. We will start by two, three and four. Because I will say why this one is. Whether it is composite or prime or neither. Okay. Yes. First two, they are prime, they are composite. Okay. Whether two is a prime number or composite number. So, what are the divisors of two? Divisors of two. So, divisors of two are two is divisible by. Two is divisible by one and two. Let it. So divisors of two are one and itself only. Therefore, two is a prime number. Two is a prime number. It is not a composite. Next three. So divisors of three. So divisors of three, one and three it is divisible by one and itself, but not two. Because 3 by 2 is not a 0. Is it right? So 3 is not divisible by 2. So its divisors are 1 and 3. So 3 is a prime number. Ok. 
okay and one more thing i will add here whether it is even or odd even or odd here 2 2 is a even number here 3 3 is a odd number next 4 whether 4 is a uh, prime number or not so possible divisors are it is divisible by 1 divisible by 2 divisible by 3 no it is divisible by next is 4 so divisors are 1 2 and 4 so other than 1 and itself there is one more divisor that is 2 therefore 4 is not a prime number so it is a composite number ok 4 is not a prime number it is a composite number so next 5 so device uh, whether here 4 is even or odd it is a even but it is not a prime so if it is not a prime leave it next thing fifth uh, number 5 whether number 5 divisors are 1 2 no 3 no next 4 no yes so only 1 and 5 that means 1 and itself are the divisors of the number 5 so therefore 5 is a prime number so 5 is not a composite number but here 5 is odd ok so observe here so prime numbers are 2 3 5 7 11 and so on 13 and so on these are all prime numbers is it right? Divisors of 2, only 1 and 2, 3, 1 and 3, 5, 1 and 5, 7, 1 and 7, 11 only 1 and 11. That means divisors. So, these are all prime numbers. Okay, these are all prime numbers. And one thing observe here. 2 is the only even, 2 is the only even prime number. All other prime numbers are odd. Is it right? 2 is the only even prime number and all other prime numbers are odd numbers. Very important. Give the example for a uh, number which is even as well as prime means number 2. Ok. All other numbers are odd numbers. So, all odd numbers are except 1. All odd numbers except 1 are all prime numbers. Okay, see the word is important except one. All odd numbers other than one are all prime numbers. Okay, yes. Two is the only even prime number. Yes. Okay, and uh, composite numbers are numbers which are not prime numbers. For example, four, six. 8, 9 and so on. Its so divisors are more than 1 and itself. So, numbers which are not prime numbers, they are all composite numbers. Ok, na? So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. These are all prime numbers because these divisors are 1 and itself only. Next, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. These are all composite numbers because whose divisors are 1 and itself along with there are some other divisors. Okay? Yes. Next, here 1 is there. Whether 1 is prime number or composite number. See, this is very important. One is neither neither prime nor composite. It is a neither prime number nor a composite number. Okay? So, neither prime number nor composite number. Because because There is a theorem, fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. That is FTA. 
what it actually says that any number, natural number, can be expressed as a product of prime powers in a unique way. Okay, this fundamental theorem of arithmetic is very important. Fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What it tells that any natural number, any natural number can be expressed as a product of prime powers P1 alpha 1, P2 alpha 2, and so on, P3 alpha 3 and so on, p n alpha. Any natural number can be expressed as a product of prime powers. Here p1, p2, p3, p n are prime numbers. Okay? Here alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 are exponents. Right? I will take a natural number in unique way. The statement is very important. The word this one. Unique, unique way. This is the only one way. Here P1, P2, P3 must be a prime numbers. Any natural number can be expressed as a product of prime powers in a unique way. This is the statement for fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Okay? Yes. Suppose I will take number 4. How to express this number 4? Product of prime powers means. So I will write this 4 as 2 square. So here P1 is 2, alpha 1 is, is it right? So, this is a prime power express module. So, that 4 is, 4 can be expressed as a product of prime powers or just a prime power. Next, it is the only one way. It is the only one way. Okay? So, no sir, I will write this 4 uh, in some different ways. How means? Uh, 4 is equals to, I will write this 4, uh, 2 square into 1 to the power 10, I will write. Or 2 square into 1 to the power uh, 100. These are one and the same, no? This product will give the 4. But, uh, according to fundamental theorem of arithmetic, here this should be prime number. Is it right? But here 1 is there. If I assume 1 is a prime number, uniqueness fails. Uniqueness fails. Uniqueness fails means this theorem is self false. Is it right? If I assume 1 is a prime number, then this 4 can be expressed in many different ways. Again, I will write 2 to the power 2 into 1 to the power 1000. Or 2 to the power 2 into 1 to the power 1000 into 1 to the power 20. Like this. Is it right? So, 4 can be expressed in different ways. If I assume the 1 is a prime number. If in case, if I assume the 1 is a prime number. If 1 is a prime number, if here uniqueness fails. If uniqueness fails, this fundamental theorem of arithmetic fails. So, therefore, it is better to assume that you, not to assume 1 is a prime. So, here 1 is not a prime number. Because, Fundamental theorem of arithmetic fails. Because of fundamental theorem of arithmetic, uniqueness property must be satisfied. It is only possible only when one is a prime number. One is not a prime number. Is it clear? Yes. So one is not a prime number because of fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It states that any natural number can be expressed as a product of Prime powers. Again, 36 is there. How to express? 3 square into 2 square. Na? 36 I will write. 3 ones are 3 twos are. 3 fours are. 2 twos are. Next, 2 ones. So, 3 how many times? 2 times. 3 square. Here, 2 how many times? 2 square. So, here P1 is 3. Alpha 1 is 2. P2 is 2. Alpha 2 is that means any natural number can be expressed as a product of prime powers in unique way. In unique way. Okay. So that one is not a prime number. 
So similarly, one is not a composite number because its divisors are only only one. So one is divisible by only one man. If it is only one, then it is not a composite. For a composite numbers, other than one and itself, there are many other divisors also there. So therefore, from this theorem, so our conclusion is one is not a prime number, and again it is not a composite. So one is neither one is neither prime nor composite number. Okay. Yes. This is all about the number systems. Very important prime numbers. Okay. Yes. Uh, in next class we will discuss some more concept. Uh, would be uh, connecting to these number system and so on. Okay, thank you, thank you to all. Namaste.